How to Clone a Jenkins Job. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.3. And on this controller, I already have a sample job set up. Now, the sample job is just a very simple test pipeline. In fact, the name even says it. If we take a look at the configuration, no options are checked. And we have a basic pipeline script already defined within the script block. So let's go back up to dashboard and let's create a new item. So we're wanting to clone test pipeline. So in this case, I'm going to say test pipeline dash two. But instead of picking pipeline, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to say copy from. And I'm going to start typing here. So I'm going to say T and it automatically finds the test dash pipeline for me. So I'll select that and click on OK. Now you'll notice up in the breadcrumb, we now have test pipeline two. But if we go down into the script block, you can see that the job definition is here. So let's make a small change to this. I'll say hello world two. OK, let's click on save. And now let's click on build now to make sure it actually works. And as it completes, we can see that it finished up and hello world two was output. And let's go back up to our dashboard and we can see at the root of our Jenkins controller, we have two jobs, test-pipeline and test-pipeline-2. Now, what if I wanted to do this from the command line? So let's go ahead and go over into Manage Jenkins, scroll down to the bottom and click on Jenkins CLI. If you've never downloaded the Jenkins CLI before, you can download it right here from the top of the page. And the command that we're gonna be wanting to run is copy job. And if you take a look at the syntax for copy job, we'll say copy job, we'll give it the source, and then we'll give it the destination. So the existing job and what the new job is. Let's go over to our command prompt and let's set up a few environment variables. The first environment variable that we're gonna set up is Jenkins user ID. And we're setting it to admin because that's the user that I already have set up on this controller. The second environment variable that we're setting is Jenkins underscore API underscore token. And this is the token associated with the admin user. If you click on admin and go to configure, you'll see that there's already an API token here, and the value of this token is what we have in our shell. And finally, we're going to set up our Jenkins URL, which is the URL for our server, which is Jenkins colon 8080. Now let's go ahead and run our copy job command. So we'll say java dash jar Jenkins dash CLI dot jar copy job. We're going to copy from our original job, which is test dash pipeline. And the new name is going to be test dash pipeline dash three. So when we hit enter, it's going to copy that job, but we don't see anything in the command prompt. So let's go back over to our dashboard and you'll see now that we have test pipeline three. Now, unlike when we did the copy within the UI where we were able to make changes before we clicked on save here, it just copied from our source pipeline in this case over to our destination pipeline, which is test pipeline three. So I can click into this, click on configure, make any extra changes that I want to make. In this case, I'm just going to add a three, click save, and then click on build now. Now that we have test pipeline three, we've made the change. And now the output is hello world three. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.